FIFA career mode is an excellent place for self-imposed challenges. Some gamers will opt only to sign players of a certain age or look to take troubled clubs from the brink of disaster to domination, but there's one challenge that stands above the rest as the game's toughest. It goes by several names, such as the Continent Challenge or the Journeyman Challenge, and it'll take your career mode all over the world. The goal is to win a domestic league and cup on every continent, as well as the Champions League, Copa Libertadores and Asian Continental Cup. This is a challenge in which you'll need success to force moves to other clubs in different regions, and timing is key if you're going to complete the task efficiently. Of course, the toughest form of this challenge is playing on the hardest difficulty, but be sure to pick the level that makes it enjoyable for you. Here's the best route ahead for those who take up the challenge. It's a good idea to begin your journey in the Australian League. It's the only league in the Oceania continent and is one of the lowest tiered jobs available, so it's important to get this completed before you can progress. Sydney FC or Perth Glory are good choices to begin with, but for a tougher challenge, why not use Wellington Phoenix, the only New Zealand-based side in the league? They have a small budget of £1.9 million to spend, but possess a handful of talented players in the team. Most notably, young left-back Liberato Cacace has good potential and is a key asset if you train him up. It's worth noting, if you do opt for one of the two big Australian clubs mentioned, you will have a shot at winning the Asian Continental Cup in your first season, as they are already qualified. If not, you'll have to qualify and do it the season after. Either way, success in Oceania will give you the opportunity to request a move elsewhere. Whether you win the Asian Continental Cup in your first season or not, the second step of your journey should be heading to either Saudi Arabia, Japan, South Korea or China. The Chinese Super League is filled with European and South American talents, and it may be deemed easier to come out on top there than the other countries if you find the right club. Guangzhou Evergrande, Shanghai SIPG, Beijing Guan have big budgets and boast notable players including Oscar, Hulk and Paulinho to get the job done. Saudi Arabia also has big teams to enjoy, such as Al Hilal, Al Ittihad, Al Nasser and Al Ali that are clearly dominant if you're aiming to win a league in your first season with them. Their budgets range from 14.6 million to 25.3 million and are sizable in the league, but not on the continent. In Japan, Vissel Kobe have the biggest budget, plus a squad led by Andres Iniesta and Thomas Vermaelen. In South Korea, John Book Hyundai have the financial power and squad to dominate the division quickly. It's worth noting that, depending on when you apply to join one of the teams here, the season could already be in progress. You may miss a transfer window, but on the flip side, you could also be in a strong position to win the league or cup without needing to work too hard. The next step is MLS or Liga MX, both of which have the potential to be the shortest stage of your journey, depending on which team you take over in the league and how progress in the cup is going. For MLS, the best clubs to aim for are Atlanta, LAFC, New York City FC, Portland Timbers or Seattle Sounders, as these each have strong squads and budgets. In regards to the Liga MX, try to end up at Club America, Guadalajara, Monterrey or Tigres if you're wanting to complete the area quickly. For those wanting more of a challenge, Veracruz and Juarez are worth a look. There's potential here that you may not receive the job offer you want next after finishing a season in North America. Keep your eyes open once you've achieved what you need to do and make the switch as soon as possible so you don't get stuck for too long. It's best to focus on Argentinian or Brazilian leagues for this leg of the journey, especially with the challenge of the Copa Libertadores at hand. You'll want to build a team that can compete both domestically and for the continental prize. If you go to Brazil, the likes of Santos, Atletico Mineiro and Fluminense are good places to start, while Ceara and Fortaleza bring more of a skill test. In Argentina, the established names of River Plate and Boca Juniors will help, but don't overlook Racing Club, San Lorenzo and Independiente if you want a ready-made squad. The more difficult task includes Arsenal and Central Cordoba. Of course, you could go down a more difficult route by landing in Colombia or Chile. Most teams in these leagues operate on a budget between 1 million and 3 million, and in Colombia, clubs such as Deportivo Cali and Atletico Nacional work with 6.5 million and 8.7 million respectively, meaning they can be a fun option. In Chile, your best options are Universidad Católica, Deportes Nunoa and CD Vinazur if you want money to spend. You need to be able to compete across multiple fronts in South America, so be sure before signing for a team outside of Argentina and Brazil. The European stage of your world tour has the potential to be the most difficult or the easiest, depending on which club you manage to take charge of. Those who get offered the job at the likes of Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid or Barcelona should have little issue in dominating the domestic scene. The English Premier League is likely a more difficult step, 
with a tougher selection of teams to beat. The Champions League is the hardest competition to win if you're playing at the top level, so you'll need a well-rounded squad that you're happy to rotate in multiple competitions. Maintaining your squad's fitness and output across the gruelling European season means there's little room for error if you're going to land a famous treble in just one year. If you're not confident of wrapping everything up quickly, focus on one competition and make sure your best team plays in it throughout an entire campaign. Taking off one trophy will allow you to focus on another the following season. Once you've finished in your final continent, it's time for some well-earned rest. Completing this challenge is going to take plenty of hard work and forward thinking. Some jobs won't easily be available, so building success at lesser clubs is the way to go for long-term success. Let us know who you end up with and how you get on in the comments below.